Hello everyone. Here we talk about the price structure. We place ourselves as a manager in a part of the supply chain, and we learn how to set up price. We need to understand what selling price should cover: the cost of buying, the operating expenses, also called the overhead. And the profit expected by the owner or by the manager. These three parts are the basic for setting price. With this understanding, we get the idea. Selling price should be cost plus expenses plus profit. C. E and P. The part above the cost is also called the markup. We use M to represent markup. So M come from expenses plus profit. We also use different index to express the situation of the business. One is called the rate markup based on the cost. That is the percentage the markup takes in the cost. Another one is called the rate markup based on selling price. That is percentage markup takes in the selling price. We all know sometimes we do cut the price to offer the sale price to customer. So the sale price come from selling price minus. Markdown, so the bar the part being cut can be called discount for the customer. From the manager side, we also called markdown, and we can also express that as a rate. Rate markdown come from markdown divided by selling price. So that means how much percent of the selling price being cut off. Here's some example. First one. Twelve Street Service buys a certain type of battery at a cost of eighty-four dollar each. Operating expenses of the business are twenty-five percent of the cost, and the owner requires a profit of ten percent of cost. For how much should Twelve Street sell this type of battery? So in this question, we clearly have the information about the cost. Eighty-four dollar, and we also have the expenses, twenty-five percent of the cost. We can have this calculation done. So the expenses is twenty-one dollar. Then we have expected ten percent of the cost as profit. We have this calculation finished. The profit would be expected as eight dollar forty cents. We put them together, would give us the selling price should be one hundred thirteen dollar forty cents. Example two: A ski shop bought hundred pairs of skis for one hundred five dollar per pair, and sold sixty pairs for the regular selling price of two hundred ninety five dollar per pair. The remaining ski. Were sold during the clearance sale for hundred eighty dollar per pair. Overhead is forty percent of the regular selling price. Answer the following questions. Part A: The markup, overhead, the profit per pair of skis sold at the regular price, with the regular selling price two hundred ninety five dollar. And we have cost of buying hundred five dollar. That would give us the markup as the difference hundred ninety dollar. Overhead or expenses information come from forty percent regular selling price. So forty percent multiply two hundred ninety five. Give us one hundred eighteen dollar. Then we can get the profit. Profit would be markup, take out expenses, 
Seventy-two dollar is the profit. Part B: Find out the markup overhead and the profit per pair if the ski is being sold at a clearance sale. So clearance sale price is hundred eighty dollar. From hundred eighty dollar compared to hundred five dollar cost of buying, we have seventy five percent. We have seventy five dollar markup. Expenses would be the same, hundred eighteen dollar. We did this calculation. Then we can calculate the profit by using markup. Take out expenses. We have negative forty three dollar. So clearance sale, not making profit. We lost some money. Part C: the total profit realized. Question: Give us. Sixty pairs being sold at the regular selling price. In that case, the rest part forty being sold at the clearance selling price. Sixty pairs. Each one we make seventy-two dollar profit. Forty pairs. Each pair we lose forty-three dollar. Put them together. Overall, for this hundred pairs of skis, the profit for the shop. Is twenty six hundred dollar. Example three: What is the selling price of an article costing seventy two dollar if the markup is forty percent cost, or another condition, forty percent of selling price? We have the information: cost of buying seventy two dollar, and the markup forty percent of the cost. And we can finish the calculation since we have the cost, the seventy-two dollar. So give us mark up twenty-eight dollar eighty cents. Put them together, we have hundred dollar eighty cents is the selling price. Second condition: if the markup is forty percent of selling price, our foundation changed. We still have. Cost of buying seventy two dollar, and we have mark up forty percent of selling price. We do not know selling price yet at this moment, so we simply label zero point four s. Then we put them together, would be the selling price. So seventy two plus zero point four s give us the selling price. We build up the equation about s. We move around to solve s, so s minus 0.4 s equals 72, and 0.6 s equals 72. 0.6 comes from 1 minus 0.4, so we can get regular selling price 72 divided by 0.6 give us 120 dollar. Example four. What is the cost of an article selling for sixty-five dollar if the markup is thirty percent of the selling price or thirty percent of a cost? Again, two situations. Different situation. We find out how much the cost should be, and we do know selling price sixty-five dollar, and the markup thirty percent of selling price. In part A, so we can finish calculation. Nineteen dollar fifty cents is the markup. Then, from the selling price, take out markup would give us the answer of the cost, forty five dollar fifty cents. In part B, same selling price, sixty five dollar, but markup is thirty percent of the cost. And we do not know the cost yet at this moment, so we just simply label it 0.3 C, and then we know regular selling price minus markup give us a C. So here's the equation: selling price equals cost plus markup. So 65 equals C plus 0.3 C. Give us 1.3 C. In that case, we build up the equation and solve this equation. Turned out, cost of buying is fifty dollar. 
for part B. Example 5. The Beaver Ski Shop sells ski vests for $98. The markup based on cost is 75%. Part A. What did the Beaver Ski Shop pay for each vest? Part B. What is the written markup based on the selling price? So part A is looking for cost of buying. We do know the regular selling price, $98. Markup, 75% of the cost. It is 0.75C. Put them together. We have 98 equals cost plus 0.75 cost. So we have 1.75. Single C means 1 C. So we solve it. Cost of buying is $56. Then we can find out part B. Finish the calculation about markup. 0.75 C give us $42. So the written markup based on selling price, 42 divided by 98, give us 42.86%. Example 6. Main Street Service bought four mission tires from a wholesaler for $343 and sold the tires at a markup of 30% of the selling price. Part A. For how much were the tires sold? Part B. What is the written markup based on cost? In this question, $343 was the cost of buying and with no markup 30% of selling price, 0.3 S. Put them together, give us a selling price. So, equation is built about S. Move them around, isolate S, and then solve S. We turn out the selling price, $490. That's the answer for part A. That's how much were the tires sold. Part B. Written markup. We need to finish calculation about the markup. 0.3s give us $147. So, markup divided by C give us 42.86%. Again, written markup based on cost. That is the answer for part B. Hopefully these exercises, examples, give you clear understanding about building up selling price. See you next time.